bag and fumble it. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blood in it. The mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, jumping the dump in the stash. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot. What's up guys? It is Sunday, January 13th, and it is a very, very, very special day. All right, right now we're picking up Anthony because he was also part of this special event and he's gonna be part of it today. So we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna get to talking about why today is so important. And it's just, it's just, I can't believe it. I can't believe that today is the day already. So yeah, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, welcome to my vlog. My name is Kyle. I make videos about my car, this 2018 Subaru WRX and my life and stuff. And, you know, just mods and different car meets and events that I might go to. And if you're into that and into stuff like installing your own mods and stuff, subscribe to the channel. Um, and maybe I'll see you at a meet or two. There he is. There's the boy. Wait, wait for it. There he is. Welcome back, champ. Hello. So, uh, today is a special day because one year ago today, January 13th, 2018, we went to the dealership and took Asa home. And, oh, oh, that's my baby, isn't it? And remember all those months where I was like, if somebody wants to donate a Subaru WRX, but nobody ever hit me up for that? Nope. Nobody ever hit me up for that. I hate you for that. Well, look, what, look where I am now. Hold up, hold up. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Does this one have the short throw? Yeah, it does. This is amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Congratulations. Thank brother. you so much, man. Really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Fair enough, guy. Um, it's been quite a journey. We, I didn't even know how to drive Asa from the dealership. Is he doing a U turn? Is he Tokyo drifting around me? Sick. I feel like you could have done that in other places. I feel like, I just feel like there's other places to do this. I guess. Whatever makes you happy, bud. So, Anthony and I are now in some weird back roads, but these weird back roads is actually where I learned how to drive stick, where I learned intimately how to drive Asa. Literally a year ago today, no, a day after a year ago today, um, is when I started going out and practicing driving stick and being one of those guys who's like, stick or nothing, bro. Isn't that right, Anthony? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about just getting a new car and not knowing how to drive stick and the fun of not knowing how to drive like a $30,000 car with your dad who knows how to drive a $30,000 car and is very upset that you decided to get a stick shift for your first $30,000 car. Anthony was there when I was learning. I was. The first two days, three days, very... It was a shit show. Yeah, it was terrible. The first three days of learning stick, I think will be the worst three days of your automotive life. Unless you have just straight up talent, the first three days is gonna be nerve wracking. Rough. You're gonna stall. You're gonna launch your car when you don't want to launch your car. You're gonna cry. You're gonna cry a little bit. You might piss yourself. And your dad's gonna yell at you. And be disappointed. But it's only because he loves you. Shout out to you, dad. The first thing I recommend when you get a stick shift car, the first thing, especially a WRX, I can't speak for any other car, but the first thing you should do when you get a new WRX and you don't know how to drive stick is turn off hill assist. Hill assist will hold you back so much because when you press the brake and the clutch and then you move to accelerate, it'll actually like hold the brake longer than you want and you'll end up stalling. Therefore, turn off hill assist. That's pro tip number one. Second, second, make sure your seat's adjusted, all right? 
Don't let nobody mess up your seat, Anthony. I'm looking at you. I don't touch your seat. Well, you used to. Yeah, but I used to do it to piss you off. Yeah, I know. So yeah, turn off hill assist. What else? I got I got a whole bunch of tips and tricks here. You should know. Weighted shift knob. Yeah, weighted shift knob. I have a billet works shift knob that's like engraved. It's a little bit heavier than the stock. It helps with your shifts a lot. It throws it into gear much smoother, much easier. You'll definitely know when you're in gear, especially with a short throw shifter. The combination of the two makes it a lot smoother to drive. Short throw shifter, weighted shift knob. Just night and day difference. Thank you. And yeah, just be really patient with it, honestly. There's no, there's no replacement for just sitting in your car and learning how to drive it and just sitting in your car and going through the gears and getting to know the bite point. It's something that you gotta learn and learning becomes smoother every single day that you're in your car. Every hour that you're in your car, True. it gets a lot smoother. Anthony knows, he was yep. in my car for like an hour or so and he was getting smoother with time. Except for that one little bit where he kept launching it for no reason. It gets smoother and smoother until you're learning how to downshift and then you hit another wall. Hopefully not literally. Don't try to hit any walls in real life, but like learning wise, you will hit a wall when you're learning how to downshift. That's a Mustang's job. Yeah, that's the crowds mostly. But don't try to hit a wall in real life, but just letting you know now, learning downshifting is quite difficult. It's not difficult in the sense that like it's hard to do, but learning the timing, learning when to do it, learning how to do it properly without sacrificing your clutch, grinding your gears or anything, that takes some learning. So that's pretty much it for uh, just basic how it felt for me to learn this car. I learned it in about a week, a week and a half at most. After, you were better without your dad in the car yeah, pressuring yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, the first three days I really needed my dad there to like help me understand what I needed to do and when to shift and all that. But at some point you really need to go out on your own and just be alone with your thoughts and learn how to drive your car your way. Even when Anthony was in the car, I was getting nervous. I was like, if I f this up, he's gonna make fun of me. So take some time by yourself. Once you're comfortable, once you're comfortable enough getting the car moving and stopping, you should really just go out by yourself and learn. That being said, once you've learned how to drive your car, you're gonna want to do mods. Like me, I wanted to do mods off the bat, but I didn't have money. Like most of us. <laughs> like most of us, I was broke. The gas was a lot more expensive than it is now. Yep. So I decided Bad what time. I would do is I would break the car in. So this car, uh, the Subaru WRX, took me about a thousand miles to break in. At least that's what it says in the manual, just to really make sure that everything is like seated properly. So I waited a thousand miles. I drove a thousand miles before I did any mods on it. And the first mod I did that I can highly, highly recommend, that I could, uh, the first mod you should do in terms of living in New York City anyway, because people say suspension all the time, is the exhaust. This car, the WRX stock, is quiet. Vi right? Very. very, very quiet. I thought you were driving a Prius. Yeah. So, after a thousand miles, the first thing I did was buy the Remark Axleback. And you guys, cut to cut to the insole of that, because that was a good time. It was, it was freezing. It was cold as fuck, it like it is right now. <laughs> Damn! Look at that tip. That's just the tip. Why would you want your car louder? Because race car. <laughs> Oh, I did it! <laughs> yes! Hello from under the car. We managed to get one. Oh. <laughs> I got one! <laughs> got it! Look at this. Look at these thick boys. Thicker than my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I literally snapped the wrench. That was good because I work out too much. But yeah, that was a that was a fun install, and the difference that it made once you put it on, Whew. it's it's crazy. Night and day. It's like a whole new car. You low key threw shots at California, and you're like, because we live in New York. Yeah, because we live in New York. Take that, California. Suck I can have a California. loud gunshot exhaust. Fun fact: the stock WRX tune can do gunshots. People think I have two step, but that's we'll we'll get into that in another video. So yeah, that was the first mod I did, and I stuck with that for a while. So after you get your exhaust done and you want a meaner look, I would say go for tints. If it's legal, you know. I had my tints redone several times. First I had 35 and that wasn't dark enough. So then I went 15 and that wasn't dark enough. So I eventually settled on pretty much the darkest tint you can get without stacking them, which is 5% limo tint. 
and I could not be happier. I'm debating getting my windshield tinted, but you know, that's that's a discussion for another day. Kyle's only hit three old people and one small child. Yep, I've only killed one family. Those uh, stats are pretty low for 5% tints. Shout out to the WC Tint Shop out in Staten Island for taking care of me and Anthony. Gang gang. They did such an awesome job with the tints and I could not be happier. And thank you for putting up with me being like, hey, I want, I know I got 15s last week, but I would love it if you switched it out to fives. Oh, we're gonna talk about people putting up with you. Oh, no, yeah, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. After the exhaust and the tints, I wanted the car to look a lot more aggressive. So, Anthony, bring it in. This is what we did, this is what we did. See this, see this, this gorgeous, this gorgeous white sea light brought to you by Diode Dynamics. We did that, the stock WRX headlights are chrome, pretty ugly, uh, with no sea light. So the first thing, well, the third thing we did, but the first major, major mod that we did was we redid the headlights. This, this alone took us two days. Oh, dude, oh, dude Vietnam flashbacks, right? God, that was, that was a pain. There's a lot of bolts and pop clips that you gotta worry about. There's literally, there's a bumper in my living room. And on this episode of This Is A Bad Idea, spray painting in a bathroom. Through the power of editing, I bet this looks really easy, which is what I thought from other people's videos. It's not. It's actually challenging to get this done. So just keep that in mind if you wanna do this. We're just not gonna open doors here. Is that, is that what we're... It's hot, right? <laughs> what do we do? The gloves have come off. Hey, it's lit. Quite literally. There it is. Oh, dude, it looks so good. You pop the hood, take the whole bumper off. Then you unscrew a bunch of shit. You pop this off, you pop this off. And then you put, you put this, you put this in the oven. Now I don't know about you, but I've never put a headlight in the oven before, so that was nerve wracking on its own. The only thing I put in ovens is like, you know, like pizzas and babies. After that, you pull it apart, and then there's like a bunch of wiring that you have to undo. And then you, you and then you pull stuff apart, and then we spray painted this black, well I sprayed it, you weren't there yet. Anthony, you weren't there yet. Sorry. But I had to spray paint this black and make sure it didn't you. scratch it up. And then after that, you have to put the sea light in and put everything back together so that it doesn't fry anything. And then you have to run the wiring yourself. So this, the difficulty on this mod was I'd say like a seven out of 10, which is a huge jump because the axle back was like a three out of 10. That was easy as fuck. Yeah, we just broke tools. <laughs> well, you broke tools, excuse I, yeah, me. Yeah, I broke the tool. But that, this, this is like a seven out of 10 difficulty. So if you're not prepared to spend like two days on it, just don't do it or have it done professionally. But yeah, that was the whole process. Um, I think it's worth it though. I think compared to the stock, yeah, I mean, look at it. It'll, it, I think it should come like this from the factory. It looks like it does come like this from the factory and we don't have any condensation in it, thankfully. So I think we did a good job on that. What other mods have we done? Let's go over all the mods before we talk about our favorites. Oh yeah, we did the lip. This lip, this lip right here, go, I think it's I think it's the best looking lip out there right now for the, really nice. yeah, right? And that was an easy install. This one was an easy install. If you're curious, this is the uh, Icon Motorsports Subaru WRX lip. The reason I got it over any other lip is because of these little vent thingies. I don't know if you can see that. Because of these little, can you see that? With the light, it's gonna be the right light. Those, those little vent thingies. It looks a lot more aggressive than any other lip that I've seen. Super easy, the boy's cold. Super. Look, I'm wearing shorts, I wasn't prepared for today. In the winter. Anyway, super easy install, took us like 20 minutes, 
Easy. Yeah, super easy. Except <laughs> I got dust in my eyes. We got break. we got it locked in the, the the ramp though. It got stuck on the ramp. Yeah, and you almost destroyed. Yeah, I almost destroyed this ramp. No, the, the whole rock. bumper. I feel like yeah. Bro, that was funny. Yeah, was fun. so, this is another easy mod. It costs 80 bucks. Normally 120. I got it on sale for 80, and it changes the look of the car. It makes it look a lot more aggressive. You get the tow hook bumper and not let them drill. Oh yeah, I guess you could call. I guess you could consider this a mod. This is uh the the license plate relocation kit. I got it off eBay for like. 30 bucks super worth it plus i like the look of the sideways license plate more instead of a center he had holes drilled into his bumper so i had no choice from the front the mods that you can see right now that we did ourselves is license plate relocation blacked out headlights with a uh, sea light retrofit and a lip what else have we done and the exhaust and the exhaust, I mean, we talked about that already. Yeah, um, that's it for now. Yeah, so that's it for the, that's it for 2018 Asa that we've done so far that ourselves. We've also had a few things done by other people, like the tints, but also our good friend Calvin at Empire Vinyl. The most beautiful man in the world. He's a beautiful, Calvin, if you're watching this, man. you're a beautiful man. He did this carbon fiber inlay on the hood scoop. He also did these, uh, these gloss black side the fender vent looking thingies and he did anthony's uh hood for his scat pack charger but well, we're not talking about that right now we're talking about us it's us's Mar birthday I man don't care. it's us's birthday it Marilyn's birthday a few weeks ago yeah but you know what you, you weren't like oh let's celebrate this is a big year this is one year of asa right so thank you calvin for doing this also i think this makes a huge difference remember when this is all stock white bro i forget what your car looks it, like stock i honestly it's so hard to remember what asa looked like without everything you know yeah. it's, just, it's tough it's when tough i see a normal wx i'm like what the fuck is yeah this? i'm just like i don't remember my it looks these basic. these mods are simple they're pretty cheap but they do a lot and they do a lot that's why i did them first i'm not concerned about making power yet you know uh it's more of a show car really at the moment because i have no choice but yeah these mods lip lights inlays huge difference exhaust for the sound huge difference also while we're on aesthetics uh, this sh shout out to our friend connor at vinyl freaks another beautiful man for redoing so this is my send nude sticker iconic oh, iconic <laughs> i actually fun fact about this sticker i actually got it redone like four times i think it was like five five times because the first time we installed it it was the wrong font and I was like, okay, I want a different font. So I switched out the font. We had it installed and there were bubbles and he was like, the bubbles are gonna come out, but then I was impatient. So I tried to fix the bubbles. I, I scraped and ripped the vinyl pretty much. So I had to get it redone. When you got it done, you accidentally had it off-centered yeah, so over I, here. Yeah, then I had it over there. So we had to take everything off. Long story short, I had this redone a lot. So thank you, Connor, for being patient and making such a quality sticker. This is iconic. Everyone loves this. Girls, guys, everybody loves this sticker. It always gets a good laugh. And on the other side, we have it in Spanish. This one I installed one time correctly, perfectly. You know why? Because I'm a boss. I'm a boss. And of course, that, that beauty right there. Moving on to the back of the car so you know all the front stuff that's done. To the back of the car, not much really. We have the exhaust, as you can see, which is a 3.5 inch tip from Remark. Uh, just a muffler delete. And I actually have my taillights tinted, which I think they should come like this from the factory, because look, look at this. Look how nice that Look at that aggression. It looks, it looks a lot more aggressive. This looks better, in my opinion, than the neon red. The stock red pops too much. Takes away attention from the rest of the car. Uh, so yeah, this is my rear profile of the Someone car. Someone buy Kyle a tow hook. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about getting a tow hook, but we'll see. We also have the uh, F1 fog light that's gonna be installed soon, but we'll do, that's a 2019 mod. So in a year, we've gotten partnered with the Tint Shop, Vinyl Freaks, Boss Shine, shout out to you, Soft. This is a 2019 mod. Uh, I think that's it for aesthetics, right? The, one, the other, only other mod we have is the dash cam which shout out to the Blackview camera company for sending me this. This is the DR900S. It runs 4K footage pretty much 24 seven, as long as there's charge in the battery. So thank you guys for that. This has almost saved my ass several times. And uh, you know, I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, so let's talk about favorite mods. As of 2018, so I guess the only thing that isn't included is the rain guards. What do you think is your favorite mod? Your exhaust. Exhaust, hands it did, down. It did so much more. I remember when you first got this car and I was like, man, it's really fucking quiet. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to agree on that. The number one mod, people people always go, suspension, coilovers, lower it. Not in New York City, I don't I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's smart. I already scraped with this car. I would say that the number one mod for me personally has to be the exhaust. Cause even with the headlights stock, you know, there's something about a nice loud exhaust that just changes the- That's legal. Yeah, it's legal here in New York. Shout out to you, California. But 
There's something about a nice exhaust that gives the car a whole new presence. You drive it differently. You're just you're so so excited to get back into it just so you can hear it. And on a stock tune, it it pops and crackles like a beast. So that's it for the 2018 mods. We're definitely gonna do a lot more mods in 2019. I don't know about a lot more, but they're gonna be a lot more expensive because we've kind of knocked out a bunch of the cheap stuff, you know? I'm thinking rims, big wang, we'll probably figure figure all of that out. But let's go inside, let's go for a drive. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the car and how it feels and all that. Because I know Anthony's cold. Very. He's shaking like a chihuahua. All right, let's go. <laughs> In the one year I've owned the WRX, it's been a great car. Super fun to drive, super fun to learn on. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, An was Thank you. Super fun to drive. Really pretty decent on gas, actually. Impressions, impressions. Rev hang, that's a very true thing. The stock tune on this car is not desirable. You know, you can get... I thought you were about to kill your... You're just... And I'm dead. The stock tune on this car, although it pops and crackles like a beast, has some rev hang so going from, <laughs> so going from first to second kind of you have to be kind of delicate with it i guess other than that i think it's a pretty good car stock you know it doesn't make a ton of power but it's quick enough in the city at least you'll beat your you know basic honda one thing i will give you kyle that i love about this car is your little one this little carbon fiber accent uh -huh. and then all your red stitching accents oh yeah yeah on the on seats, your seats on your steering wheel steering wheel i was so jealous of that yeah i was so tight yeah this into the interior of this car stock is actually pretty decent it's very comfortable yeah it's a comfortable car the seats they don't hug you too much but they hug you the right amount just the, just enough so you feel loved you know you feel loved by the car do you recommend people get the sunroof i do i you know first i didn't care about the sunroof anthony was pushing for it he was like get a sunroof bro after one summer with a car, I'm very happy I got the sunroof. You're welcome. There's nothing like driving at night with all your windows down and you're just like, oh, boop, and then it comes up. It's nice. It's a good feeling. It does add weight. It does take out a little bit of headspace, but I'm short, so what, what does that matter to me, you know? But yeah, owning the car has been super fun. In New York City, it's quick enough. You know, you definitely, you don't need like a 500 horsepower car. Why are you throwing shots <laughs> at me? Uh, you leave me and my car out of this. It's gas is decent. Look, at you. Come, come check this out. I'm averaging 15.7 miles per gallon in the city, which honestly, that's not great. But that's because I pop and crackle a lot, you know, just because I love to hear that. So that kind of reduces the uh, the gas mileage, I guess, the average. If I'm on the highway, I've gotten this thing up to like 35 miles per gallon, just cruising. Uh, what else? What else is there to talk about owning this car? I think it's a it's it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. It's smaller and bigger than like outside mm -hmm. the car is bigger, mm -hmm. you know, inside but on the or... inside the car is smaller than I thought like this right here Let's check this out. Let me show you. Let me show you a little bit of something the space on the inside It's it's decent, you know, but in the Not winter it, Yeah, but once you got the layers on yeah, once you got the son of a bitch. here Let's get let's get Anthony act like you have some layers on all right So you, you're no you're like you're, you're a little bit bulky you're chilling you have your layers on right yeah. say I need to shift if I'm shifting, I'm gonna elbow Anthony. Right in the bike. I'm just gonna bah! Bah! and then like anytime I shift, bah! It's just you know, so yeah. I, getting my ass beat while yeah. I'm just in a nice little yeah. car, fun car ride. But handling wise, I cannot complain about this car. This car takes corners easy. It's so fun. You can throw yourself into a corner. The only thing I would want to swap out that I'm not incredibly confident about in this car is the brakes. Like there have been times where I've slammed on the brakes and I'm like, wow, I wish I had bigger brakes. So the brakes is kind of the weak point uh, performance wise of this car. Maybe, maybe the suspension, if like, if you're used to driving on coils, if you're used to driving like race suspension, uh, I would say coils, you might want to go for coils or something more performance oriented, but stock for a first car around New York city. And just for like spirited driving, not like track racing, but like back roads, you know, this car is plenty fun. Brembo sponsor us. Brembo, Willwood, anyone? Brembo, please. please I want six pistons. The four is not enough. So yeah, performance wise, I think this car is more than enough for the city. If I ever plan on tracking it, I would want more power. If I ever plan on like racing, racing, I would want more power. But around the city, taking it out on the highway, going on back roads, it's more than enough. I'm sure like more pros and cons will show up in the future. The longer I own the car, you know, I'll appreciate things more. But that's pretty much it. In terms of just owning a car in New York City, a lot of fun, but this car, <laughs> 
This car has been through some shit. Oh god, dude. The fourth week of owning the car, I walked out, uh, and it was it was in a hit and run by like a, some drunk driver or something. We never caught the guy, which is part of the reason why I run a dash cam now. In September was it? Some lady who was parked on the sidewalk backed into my car when I was picking my mom up. Someone broke into your car. S someone broke into my car. It's just there's so many things. There's so many shitty people. It's not a matter of owning a nice car. It's just having shitty people everywhere, mm -hmm. and I'm just not lucky, I guess, with that stuff. So before the battery dies, uh, this car has been super fun and... It's been through hell and back already. Yeah, it's been through hell and back, but it's come back better than ever. Best. The community around the Subaru, like the Subi gang, is... Oh, let's get some light in here. The Subi gang community, like when we wave at each other, is just the best. It's ridiculous. Uh, you have like so much support, questions you need answered, anyone is willing to answer it. It's crazy. So that's another big reason why I got the car. Speeding through traffic just to wave yep. at each other. And that's another re Oh, there's another one. Look, there's a WRX. But anyway, there's it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Here he goes. This is what he does on a day-to-day. Subi day -day. gang! This is what he does on a day-to-day. -day Subi. Day. Oh, look. He has the, the light. Subi. Sir. Sir, wait. Sir. Sir, I have to wave at you.